Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today, I wanna to talk about the massive amount of companies that are investing in blockchain technology. I wanna talk about how they're investing in blockchain, how much they're investing, and what they're investing in. All right, so before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. And also, don't forget, my Blockchain Developer Bootcamp is coming out on May 15th, 2019. It's gonna be your ticket to becoming a highly paid blockchain developer. So head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to find out more information. All right, so let's talk about the massive amount of companies that are investing in blockchain technology. And I've actually got a report that I want to share with you today. This is not just my opinion. It's not me just sort of like looking out and saying, oh yeah, companies are investing in blockchain. No, I have a real report from a very reputable source, not some scammy ICO uh, you know, website or something like that that's just trying to tell you that you know, uh, blockchain is taking off so you buy cryptocurrency, right? This is a real report put up by Deloitte. All right, now I've got it pulled up on my screen here. This is their uh, 2018 global blockchain survey, all right, called Bla Breaking Blockchain Open. All right, so I wanna go through this report with you today and talk about this to give you some insights into the trend of blockchain that is taking off, right? And I guess we measure taking off by companies investing millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars into this tech because they feel like it's an you know, important part of their business, right? If they're gonna be investing money in it, it's important in some way to their business. So let's go through this report today, all right? Now I've got this uh, article pulled up, uh, actually from Consensus, that's talking about some of the key highlights in the report. So uh, props to Consensus for this. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. Um, so the first thing I wanna call out in this report is that out of all the companies surveyed, 95% plan to invest in blockchain technology in some time within the next year of the survey. All right. So 95% as an overwhelming majority of companies that are planning on investing in blockchain technology out of this whole survey. All right. So let's look at how much that they are planning on investing. So less than 5% or 5% or less uh, don't plan to invest anything. I mean, that makes sense if 95% plan to invest and, you know, just subtract five. All right. So of uh, the top 16%, the top tier, 16% plan to invest $10 million or more over the next year in blockchain technology for their company. And 23% plan to invest from 5 million to 10 million. And then the next tier down is 26% from 1 million to 5 million, then 20% from half a million to a million, and then 10% less than 500,000, less than half a million, right? So that means that 65% plan to invest a million dollars or more over the next year into blockchain technology, all right? So we don't exactly know how all those funds are going to be allocated, but I got a pretty good feeling that a large number of those funds are going to be put towards tech talent, right? So blockchain technology is so new, I have a feeling a lot of them are going to be researching blockchain technology and you know trying implementations of blockchain for their companies. And guess what? That means they're probably going to be hiring a lot of blockchain developers, right? <laughs> so that's good news for all of you who are trying to become highly paid blockchain developers. This is pretty good evidence that there's a lot of companies that want to snatch you up and use your skills within their company. All right, so let's take a look at some more of these statistics. 84% believe that blockchain is broadly scalable and will eventually achieve mainstream adoption, All right? So that's amazing. 84% believe that blockchain has a lot of promise, can be mainstream, and that's also another interesting thing that all these companies see the potential for blockchain and I want to clarify something here. Like a lot of people are waiting around for mass adoption to occur before they feel like they can learn blockchain or they want to use blockchain. Well, guess what? If there's all these companies that are putting millions of dollars into blockchain, that means there's demand right now for people who know how to build blockchain technology or know how to use blockchain technology or have any amount of expertise about blockchain. You don't have to wait for you know blockchain to reach quote unquote mass adoption before people will pay you uh, to be a part of it, right? So that's an important thing to note here. But 
there are so many companies that have, you know, are banking on that promise of, uh, you know, mass adoption in the future, or maybe shouldering some of that risk. And they're willing to pay you in the meantime until that happens, right? And some of these companies may not even necessarily need it to be used for mass adoption in order to leverage it in their business, all right? That's just another thing to keep in consideration. Let's talk about industry disruption. So a lot of people were surveyed and said, you know, do you agree or do you not agree? Blockchain will disrupt blank industry, right? So fill in the blank with several different industries and people, you know, said yes or no, blockchain will affect these things. And so let's look at some of the highest uh, respondents, some of the highest results to that survey question. So automotive is one of the top, 70, 73%, all right? People think automotive is going to be highly influenced by blockchain or highly impacted by blockchain, all right, or disrupted, I should say. Oil and gas is the next one. Life sciences, that's including like biotech, medical, or pharmacy, right? And next on down the list are financial services and consumer products and manufacturing. And we keep going down with healthcare, you know, technology, food, and then other and public sector. So a lot of these are like roughly half or more, roughly half to, to, to three quarters. So there's a lot of different industries that people think are going to be impacted or disrupted in some way by blockchain. All right, so let's keep on going down and look at some more of these insights. So 84% think that blockchain is going to provide a significant advantage in security to traditional IT systems, all right? And this public blockchain is gonna provide you know, significant security advantages to our traditional systems. All right, let's keep going down here. So next, 32% of respondents say they expect greater speed and 28% say they expect new revenue models to be created by blockchain. Now, it doesn't surprise me that, you know, we expect greater speed out of blockchain than traditional systems. And I think the primary use case for this is, you know, financial transactions. So think about it, you know, if you want to transfer a very large sum of money, you typically have to have some time for it to, you know, clear the transaction, all that kind of stuff. It's usually a several day waiting period. And a lot of that's removed with the blockchain, right? You can simply just transfer funds. It doesn't matter how big the funds are. And they transfer very quickly with the simple transaction on the blockchain. So that's definitely a way that I can see, uh, you know, leveraging speedier, transactions in a business case that would give you some sort of advantage, right? So there's lots of other things, but that's just one that pops into my mind. So new business models and revenue sources, definitely see that, you know, anything powered by smart contracts is going to open up a world of possibilities for companies with blockchain technology. So greater security or lower risk, same thing, you know, anything powered by smart contracts, if it's, you know, secure, well audited, uh, smart contract is going to be obviously very secure, and also just the blockchain itself will be something you can leverage for security. Lower cost is a big one. So if you're using a public blockchain and you don't have to host your own infrastructure, sometimes you could potentially offload some of your computational resources to the blockchain itself, and you don't have to pay those infrastructure costs. So let's keep on going down here. Let's look at some of their priorities. So 43% surveyed said they view blockchain as a critical strategic priority for their organization. Right, so almost roughly half say it's a do or die situation, a sink or swim situation for their organization. And then 29% said important, right? So if you look at this graph here, you can see a pretty big slice of the pie that think it's a pretty big priority for their business in some way or another, all right? Let's keep on going down here. What are the barriers? So a lot of them say regulation. That's no surprise. Implementation also seems like a big barrier. There's a lot to consider whenever you're adopting blockchain into your business. Uh, potential security threats. So it seems like they're kind of split somewhat on getting a security advantage versus you know having potential security threats, which I get anytime you know security is a, of utmost concern to your business and you're working on something new. You're, you're always worried that you could you know increase new problems. Right. So let's say 45% of companies are considered likely to join a consortium with competitors. All right. 29% already can participate in one. All right. 52% are focused on permission blockchain models, while 44% are prioritizing public and private blockchain networks, respectively. All right. So a lot of them are looking to leverage uh, public blockchains like Ethereum, Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. 52% are looking for permission blockchains and 44% are looking for uh, private blockchains, all right? And also the public as well, like I just said. All right, so here's what I also wanna focus on. Here are the use cases 
This is what they want to invest in and how they want to do it. The number one use case coming at 53% is supply chain. The next one, 51% is internet of things, all right? And the third biggest is 50% with digital identity, all right? Next is digital records, and then digital currency, and then payments, and then voting, all right? And then beyond that is none and other. We can go on down to leading countries here. So China at 49% and Mexico at 48% lead with the blockchain implementation currently in production, all right? So some of these companies are you know, still trying to move to production. Some of them are already in production with blockchain solutions. And China has a sizable lead saying 86% of the companies are already hiring blockchain related positions. So yeah, this is a pretty crazy report. <laughs> uh, again, I just wanna reiterate that this is from Deloitte. This is not some just ICO blog out there that's trying to make blockchain look like it's a bigger deal than it actually is to try to hype up the price of Bitcoin or something like that. It's not what it's just trying to do, okay? So I wanna talk about some more insights you can you know, kind of derive from this. So this is a large number of companies that are pumping money into blockchain technology and trying to integrate it into their business. They think it's going to be a disruptor in some way to their own industries, and they're trying to outpace that and stay ahead of the curve. And so when they do that, that means they're going to be hiring people to come in and help solve these kinds of problems, all right? And that's where you come in, right? That's where it really pays off to acquire the skills. You can come in and meet that demand, right? So I guarantee you that the amount of people who know how to do this is not outpacing uh, the demand, right? The supply is not outpacing the demand. The demand's outpacing the supply. And whenever that happens, the price of compensation always goes up. So at the end of the day, you know, you need the skills to pay the bills, but you know, that's why this channel's here. That's why I try to help you to become a highly paid blockchain developer. So hope you all like this. Check out the links down below for, you know, these reports. You can read through them yourselves and kind of get more insights um, on your own. But again, hope you all like this video. Be sure to subscribe Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also don't forget my blockchain developer bootcamp is coming out on May 15th, 2019. You can head on over to block, sorry, dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to find out more. So until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.